Yo, what's going on guys? Right, we're making a security cam tracking thermal imagery shot today, of course, in DaVinci Resolve Studio. So you want to jump into Fusion, come to your tracker, and find a spot. Usually the eye works, but the smoke goes in front of his face in this instance. So I'm just going to track his hair. Um, start at the beginning, click play. And that runs pretty smoothly. Once you've done this, I'm going to make this operation into a match move, and this is on the tracker module. Um, I'm then going to drag my HUD. This is uh, this. As you can see, it tracks nicely, but we want the HUD to look a little bit different, so I'm just going to crop this. You want to then come to keep centered and keep aspect, and then just resize. As you can see, we've now got a nice HUD. Let's just get rid of the watermarks. Once you've done that, you want to all um, control space and come to transform. And I'm just going to place on top of his face. And then you can resize. Now we have a nice tracking shot there. Once you've done this, you want to click on the tracker and come to um, Gaussian Blur. And just add this before the tracker and let's sort of blur this a little bit just like so hold space add film grain this looks kind of nice already just up the strength a little bit once you've done this you want to come to jpeg damage and this will sort of glitch it out a little bit um, you can then adjust the quality and just bring it down ever so slightly you can change the resolution. Just going to bring this up like so. This looks pretty cool. See, this just moves off his face. So let's make it larger and just do this. If you want to change the color of your um, your sort of your HUD element, what you can do is add a background node and put that in between um, here, the crop and the transform. Um, we can then come to the background. Let's change it to red, and then you want to change this to in. And you've got a nice red sort of HUD going on here. Now that we've got this far, we can come to our magic mask. I'm going to drag the magic mask on here and I'm going to go to the beginning and just select him. Just get a nice selection going on then click better. And then I'm going to run this through. Now that this is done, um, we can come to our pulse color. Add false color on after it. Come to creative, um, and you should get this. Let's scroll down and take the show values of this. You then on your false color when you come to the bottom color thing and just make it black, and that just gets rid of the, um, the transparency of the background. And you can change your black level, your white level. Sorry. And let's just scroll this down a bit. This looks nice. Now you want to copy your media in and drag this. Just click, make this under, and now we've got a nice, um, nice image. Um, in between here and the merge, we're going to add a color corrector and then we can push this to the greens, desaturate it a little bit. After JPEG damage, I'm going to add a glow. I'm actually probably going to bring this before the film grain. And as you can see, it's really starting to 
come together now. After the vapor damage, I'm going to add a normal grain. So this grain here, up the power. And then if we come back, this is our shop. Another thing you can add is um, another merge. Um, we'll actually add this in between these. And we can add a text. And you can right click on here and click on time code, hold shift, drag that in. And then we've got a cool time code here. We can then just resize this, make it red, drag it above. Now this is looking nice. But um, we want to add some glitch that sort of scans down. So you want to come to fast noise. Drag that in here. You're going to come to this and unlock this and drag these across like so and make this your values up the contrast. You're then going to come to um, a mask. We're just going to expand the width. I'm going to drag this to the top. And we're going to keyframe this down. So we're just going to click on the keyframe on here. Move it across. We'll just bring it all the way down. Like so, as you can see on the right side, coming down like so. Let's just extend the width. You then want to come to your spline um, and find your displacement. And we're just going to click on this, um, not this one, this one, and it will loop it like so. Let's just make it a little bit slower actually let's keep it the same that's quite fast then you want to add a displace and add that in between now you're going to start to see these lines let's click on y uh, x y and change the refraction I'm going to bring the brightness down and after this fast noise I'm going to make here mosaic blur up the frequency and now you can really start to see these pixels now if you want to make this smaller you can so we can just sort of decrease the height now you've got a really cool security looking image this was obviously done quite quickly. You can finesse a lot of the details. Um, you can come and add a TV and add scan lines, which looks like this. Um, alternatively, you can head over to bluetooth.com and find the CRT machine and add the CRT machine. Um, we can come and change the lens distortion to zero. Bring the image size a little bit back further in. Um, and then bring the gain down. Just bring the pixel size down a bit. And then maybe the shine. And then you've got this really cool digital CRT um, security style looking image. So let's just take that off. Cool, and that's about it. Uh, it was a pretty quick one, but it's a cool one, and you can tweak all the settings. You can then just come and change 
the media in and out but you'll have to redo your magic mask um yeah and there's lots of different ways you can enhance this you can change the background color straight away you can change it to something like this um play around with it but it's a real simple node tree um yeah and i hope you learned a little bit from this one head over to bluetooth.com for all of my plugins um and i'll catch you in the next one peace